started. We are Quilters HQ, Windmill Sewing Center, and Sewing Machines Express. The websites are quiltershq.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, qhq2.com. We do this every Tuesday from 6 to 7 Central, so thank you for joining us. Be sure and do all the things with the buttons. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Smash up the like button. Smash up that like button. So we might have to have you look this up because I don't remember what the cost for this little. So this whole project is about this. This little piece of, um, I don't think it's real leather. I think it's just like a layered faux leather. But it's a project. I don't know if we can, can you hold it up closer? And you can use a yard of fabric to make this little um, bag and use this handle for it and so before we started I was threading my serger and I threaded the loopers wrong so we're going to do that real quick but I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this out and we'll thread the serger when we get to that um, this little handle is $18.99 so the handle is $18.99 it comes with this little pattern these are super easy to make I haven't made one, but the pattern is super, super easy. And I just want to make sure I have these because I'm using two layers of fabric. So I'm using two yards because I wanted to be a, um, reversible for one. And I wanted it to have a lining too. So let me just straighten these out and make sure that my fabric pieces are going to end up being the same size. And then I'm going to start with my known straight edge, which is the salvage, and my fold. And I'm just going to cut this salvage off because fabric, as you know, is 42 to 44 inches. Oh, new stuff. John, we have new stuff. We have new stuff, too. And then I'm going to open this back up. And then we're going to fold it this way to get our square. Oops, I moved my edges. Nope, this is my straight edge up here at the top. Okay, I'm just going to bring this up like this so that it's straight and I'm keeping this salvage edge straight and so they are using centimeters. Um, I did the math for you and it works out to be about 36 inches square. So I'm going to trim this off. It doesn't have to be 36 inches. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can see I'm not really measuring. I'm just cutting here. Um, what is important is that it is square. So I squared up this side. And so I'm just going to bring this one up and square. Actually, let me do it this way. This will be the easiest way to do it. So I've got my square edge here, but I still have some fabric that's not evened up. So I'm just going to bring this corner over and match up these squares, not to the edge of the fabric, but to the edge of where I cut earlier. And then make sure. And then I'm just going to follow this straight line here with my ruler and trim that off. So very easy to square up this fabric. And then we're going to finish these two pieces using our serger and a rolled hem. 
and this fabulous Razzle Dazzle. Oh, that really would have been more helpful right now. <laughs> here, go ahead and push it over here. <laughs> so. I do believe that's a new one, right? Hmm. That would have worked perfectly for that cut. That one may be a new one, too. Okay. So we're doing a little fish, and then the other fabric that I picked out is also fish. So let's just put these right sides, wrong sides together. And look at that, my seams match up pretty close. I'm just going to put a couple of pins in this and I'm not going to sew all of this together because it's going to be a lining for a bag so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, so either this side or the, the other side is also kind of this fuchsia color. It's pretty. Hi Cheryl, how are you tonight? And all I'm really doing is just lining up this edge so that it doesn't move too much as I'm running it through the serger. So we're just making a big square with a finished edge. If you don't have a serger, um, you could um, sew these together and then flip it and then finish it that way too if you wanted a lining or if you have some heavier fabrics like say you have some curtain fabric left over or some other deco fabric you could use that as well this will make great holiday gifts for your sewing friends because you can squeeze them off a little bit here. I'm just going to work that in. You know what? I'll just sew from that side and trim it off with my serger. Hey, Jody, how are you? Hey, Mary, hey, Debbie. So Joan's working on a, a little bag project. And so there's my other side. Okay. Now let's get my serger threaded with the right um, looper. This one, Miyako. A little bag project. Let's just test this out. So um, with sergers, they have guidelines for your this one has a display, and when we're finished, I'll show it to you. And so, anytime you're working with a serger, always keep in mind, it is a guideline, a guide not necessarily, um, what your settings are absolute. So it's gonna vary. So if I'm doing a rolled hem on this, it's gonna be a little bit different for a rolled hem, say with another kind of thread or a different kind of fabric. And so you always wanna test sew. And so all I'm doing is test sewing to make sure that my rolled edge here good and it could be a little bit wider than that and then it looks like one of my loopers is getting a little bit of looping loopy loopy looper right <laughs> that's probably how they came up with the name could be they didn't come up with anything else oh it makes a loop let's put an er on it <laughs> And 
and I am really kind of happy with that. Maybe a little more. Yep, happy with that. And I'll bring it close so you can see it's what like I'm looking at. Your spitting fabric off. It is. And so, like right here is where I made my final adjustment. If you can hold that up, I don't know if they'll be able to see it very well because it is. And then you can show the part where the looper, the loops were being made too, but it's just different. So anytime, so it doesn't matter if you have this one, has the display, the um, Bernina also has a display. Always keep in mind that display is a starting point and you will have to make adjustments to your tensions in order to get that perfect rolled hem. So let's go ahead and just run this through really quick. And I also love that they sew so fast. Who doesn't like that, right? When I get to the end, I'm just going to keep sewing and pull that out. And then I'm just going to let the knife cut my tail. And it's still going to leave a tail, but we're going to trim that after. taking off, doesn't it? Does. it? And so this is one of the reasons I always run out of thread up here. Because I'm always watching my knife and my needles to make sure I'm making stitches. And then all of a sudden, I'm out of thread and I'm like, ah. So that's why having an air thread serger is such a treat. We're just glad that the silica bag says, do not eat. <laughs> Somebody was saying. Do not eat. Somebody was saying we should take all the warning signs off. Like if you want to shower and blow dry your hair at the same time, you kind of deserve what you're getting and let natural <laughs> selection take its course. In the spirit of multitasking, there's some things you should not multitask. No doubt. <laughs> Hey Peggy, how are you tonight? How was your weekend? Last edge. See how quickly this project goes? Mm -hmm. Super fast. And I don't know anybody that has like a huge stash of like one yard cuts. Maybe we should take a poll. <laughs> Maybe we should. Yes, Lana, we'll be getting some of the cave fabrics. 
Oh no. Well, we're sorry to hear that, Peggy. Your refrigerator died. Oh. It's 98 degrees. It's really not what you want to happen when you want to clean your fridge out. Okay, I'm just going to trim that tails off here. So now we have a two pieces of fabric rolled together. With a rolled in. So that's got a, this really nice finished edge to it. And so when I picked these fabrics out, I'm like, I kind of want them to be reversible. I pulled out the green version of this, but it was a little bit weird kind of green, so let me pull all my needles out because I don't want to stab myself, number one rule. Don't bleed on the fabric. <laughs> I've done it. Grandma spot remover. Yeah, that's a key, Kathy. Find one in stock. That's always the tricky part. Her yeah. husband's out fridge shopping. Oh. And I, I'm not sure I understand the one with the TV in it. Oh, Plus the refrigerator is like sitting. I don't, I don't know about that. It seems like a really small screen to watch TV on. Close if you need to get a drink, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have to go far to get a snack. Yeah. Okay, so now we're ready for assembly, and so you're going to which side do you think we should put out? What side do you think we should put out? Outside. Those fish one and this fish or this fish. Big fish and this fish. I Big kinda fish. like the little ones myself, but we'll oh, leave it to the viewers. To. So to start, you're gonna fold it corner to corner. Just like this. You got a pen in there still, I think. Do I? Oh, you're right, I do. Thank you. I ought to stab myself with that. No Welcome. stabbing allowed. Broke my number one rule of don't bleed on the fabric. Please spray check on the end of the stitch. I don't. Um, there is a tool that you can get that will actually um, pull those tails in, but the way that I turn those corners, it actually, um, how's a good way to describe it? it finishes it and surges the last tail into the next piece of surging. I don't know if that makes sense, but... So it buries it in there? It kind of buries it in there. And so we're going to fold these up like this because we want to get to... Kite. It is kind of like a kite. And so it's one half and one half, and what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these, like so, and make a knot. Oops. With the big fish. So it depends on which side you want to be out. Right. So if this way that I'm doing it right now, the big fish we'll be would on the be outside. the outside. Everybody voted for the little fish. Okay. Let's turn it around. Little fish on the outside. Okay, so we're going corner to corner, and then we're going to bring this up, and we're gonna bring this up, and then right here is where we're gonna make our knot. And that's gonna be inside of the bag. This will be inside of the bag. It's always a thing to remember. So that's why you could do this project without sewing, technically, right? You're just going to fold the fabric together, and yep. then you're just going to fold it up. And then you're going to turn it. These get tucked inside. And if you want it to be deeper, right? Make your knot smaller. You just move the knot a little further out. So just like that.
I need to go get one of those tent poles and we could hit the road. Oh, this is kind of like a... We could put our lunch in there and just... So there's the beginning of it. And so for these, now I've not done this yet, so... Um, so then it would just be a road show. Then it would just be a road show. And there is a way to wrap this around. So I'm going to do... Okay, the finished one makes more sense to me. So... <laughs> in through here so in through here all the way around in through this side to make the strap and then it locks when you pull it up behind it Interesting, okay. And then it kind of covers up the little knot. So, it looks like that on one side. And then this on the other. Let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> For me, looking at the very finished project, very finished portion of it makes helps me figure out which way to go because that's just how my mind works but they do have pretty good little instructions and then we're going to go all the way all the way back in I think I have to reverse this one and go through the other side. And it's actually like a Japanese technique. It is. Starts with an F. There and then it goes up underneath to get that lock, huh? To get that locked in there. And there you have it. One little bag. So you could put your water bottle. All kinds of little projects inside of it. I like it. And it's versatile. You can change it out for all kinds of stuff. If it gets dirty, you just take it apart, you throw it in the washing machine, iron it, or not. Kind of looks like the stork bag a little bit, too. A you little know, it's bit. flying along. And... A little bit. <laughs> but yeah, super easy to make. What do you think of the project? Carry to your dog. I like that one. That would be funny if you're poking out the top. It's a purse puppy. <laughs> it's a purse puppy bag. It's a purse puppy bag. <laughs> So, Put a little bandana on him, so he's doing the boxcar wheelie. Yeah. So really super <laughs> easy to make this. So. I know when your ends will hold together well over time, yeah. right? Through washing yeah. and all that kind of stuff because of the. Yeah. You surge the. You yeah. You him on them, so. Yep, surge that on there, and it's done. And, you know, you can lay it out flat and find what you're looking for pretty easily so just a little I don't know trinkets bag day bag day bag beach bag go into the market farmer's market bag I need one of these <laughs> just saying yeah knew you really didn't like that one yeah I did like that one would have been handy for this project everyone enjoy your week and we'll see you next time.